some rain today. More comes in tomorrow, and it sounds like we could get some storms too. Yeah, keeping a close eye on the system and the setup, very spring like tomorrow mm -hmm. with highs in the 60s and some sunshine, some unstable air. It is possible that we could see some stronger thunderstorms. Okay. So we're keeping a close eye on things. As for this evening, a stray shower or two can't be ruled out. The winds are also picking up some, but uh, should be a fairly uneventful evening. Tomorrow, though, things change. Showers and thunderstorms are likely. On top of that, the winds will be very high. Even outside of thunderstorms, winds will likely gust over 45 miles per hour. Right now, we are seeing a few breaks in the clouds, but the rain that we saw earlier is out of here. Though, again, that chance for a stray shower can't be ruled out the next couple of hours. How about this? Most of us in the low to mid 50s, a couple of 40s further north, we'll take it. But again, the trade off is the chance for some showers and thunderstorms, especially come tomorrow. You can see some of that light rain moving through South Bend. That's why I'm going to keep that chance and therefore a stray shower or two this evening. But it's really most of this rain down in parts of Missouri that will move in tomorrow morning. And then another round of showers and maybe a few thunderstorms moves in tomorrow afternoon as this very large and very strong storm system starts to move closer. Now there's also the potential on top of the heavy uh, or the uh, strong winds rather there is the potential for some localized flooding, especially further north. There's still a snowpack up there in the northern half of lower Michigan. So as temperatures warm, that snowpack melts. Heavy rain added on top of that gives us a big concern with flooding. Locally, we could see some localized flooding here tomorrow, but not going to be as widespread of a threat as what they have further north. Let's get to future track and you'll see maybe a stray shower or two this evening, but I suspect we will see more dry time that will continue overnight. 5 or 6 a.m. Thursday, uh, the model here is showing this first round of showers moving through. Could be some heavy rain in this, and on top of that, there could be a rumble of thunder. I think the overall severe threat with this first round is somewhat minimal, but it's going to be as we head into the afternoon that we have a better chance for those stronger thunderstorms. One of the key ingredients is all in uh, all this is whether or not we see sunshine around lunchtime. Here is 11 a.m. and you can see this model predicting a good amount of clearing out there. If that happens, the sun shines, the atmosphere becomes more unstable, and that's just more energy for these storms to tap into as we get closer to 1 or 2 o'clock. Here's 2 p.m. and you can see some of those showers and thunderstorms firing off. Again, they could be strong to severe. Those should move out by about 5 or 6 p.m. Then some lingering rain, uh, rain possible in the evening. Let's dive further into the severe threats that we could face Thursday. The biggest concern is winds outside of storms, winds gusting over 45 miles per hour within those storms. They may reach severe limits. Again, localized flooding could be a concern and hail in the tornado threat is small, but it can't be ruled out. An isolated tornado or two will be possible tonight. Mid 40s with mainly dry conditions, but a stray shower is possible. More rain by daybreak tomorrow. We get back into the mid 60s for highs on your Thursday with two rounds of showers and storms that round in the afternoon could be strong. Winds will also be high as well. Rain changing to snow on Friday could see a couple of flakes fly this weekend. Quiet weather, but cooler to start next week. So coming up tonight at 10 o'clock, we're going to check the model again mm -hmm. as this is an evolving system, but yeah. it will be impactful for your Thursday. All right, Brett, thank you.